The Grande Starbucks Strawberries and Cream Frappuccino tastes terrific and has a beautiful pink hue, courtesy of crushed insects. You heard right. A barista at Starbucks who's vegan recently divulged that the strawberries and cream frappuccino is colored using cochineal extract, the ground up bodies of cochineal insects native to South America. The barista gave that information to a vegan news site run by Dale and Fortney, who says she's shocked. We were told that the, the any way you want it frappuccinos when made with soy milk uh, were completely safe for vegans. A Starbucks spokeswoman says the company never claimed the drink was vegan friendly. Nicely textured. Starbucks didn't want to put anyone on camera with us, didn't want us filming anyone in its stores making this frappuccino. Company spokesman did tell us they started using cochineal extract to move away from some dyes and other artificial ingredients, that the extract is FDA approved and that it would never do anything to harm its customers. As for the customers we spoke with, it is still technically all natural. It is still probably organic. Does it gross you out at all that they use a bug extract in this thing? We use bugs in all sorts of things. I'm, uh, I'm not terribly surprised or concerned. After all, bugs have been a staple of nutrition for years on Discovery right Channel's now, Man vs. Well. Wild. You can just eat them, eat them raw. Starbucks officials also point out products like juices made by other companies have the same insect extract in them. But according to the World Health Organization, there have been instances where cochineal extract is believed to have caused asthma attacks and allergic reactions. Probably wonderful, right? <laughs> Tastes pretty good. It's okay. It's okay. I prefer my own homemade smoothies. Renowned nutritionist Catherine Talmadge also warns of those symptoms, but... If you drink one of these, is it going to do anything to you? Is it bad for you? Nutritionally, it's fine. But any time a restaurant puts an ingredient in a food, it should be disclosed. Talmadge says the cups seen by customers should disclose that the strawberry frappuccino has insect extract in it. Right now, only the boxes of liquid mixture used by the baristas behind the counters have those labels. An FDA official tells us the law does not require the cups to be labeled because the drink is prepared by Starbucks staff, not sold in any packages bought directly by customers. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.